2009 Lexus ES350 Automatic Transaxle Drain and Fill Service. This was filmed while showing a student how to perform an automatic transmission drain and fill on a 2009 Lexus ES350. This is a U660E transaxle, does not have a dipstick, so there is a very specific procedure that needs to be followed to fill the transaxle to the correct level. The correct level is very sensitive to the temperature of the fluid. The vehicle has been raised on a lift and the left front wheel and the inner fender cover have been removed. Toyota specifies cold and hot fluid level checking techniques. This video uses the cold technique because the only special tools are a scan tool to check the fluid temperature and a fluid fill tank that can be pressurized. I will put a few links to various fill tanks in the description below. The cold technique is described in an obsolete TSB TC006-06. Even though the TSB is obsolete, the technique is not. A Toyota trainer told me that he once set the fluid level using the hot technique. Then he let the fluid cool and checked it with the cold technique and the level was perfect. The hot technique is described in Technical Service Bulletin L-SB-0011-13. It requires multiple special tools and a very detailed procedure. The cold technique requires the fluid on this vehicle to be between 104 degrees Fahrenheit and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. You cannot use an infrared tool pointed at the pan. It won't be accurate and you could damage the transmission if the fluid level is not correct. The hot technique, which is between 185 degrees Fahrenheit and 194 degrees Fahrenheit, requires the use of additional tools along with the scan tool and a specialized fluid fill tank that can create a vacuum in the transaxle in addition to pressurizing the tank to add fluid. Warning, do not remove the overflow plug if the fluid temperature is above 113 degrees Fahrenheit without the use of the special tools. Before draining the fluid, we will check the level of the fluid. A scan tool must be used to verify the fluid is at the correct temperature. Here we can see that nothing is coming out of the level check hole at the proper temperature. This transmission fluid is too low. Use an Allen wrench to remove the overflow tube to drain the fluid from the pan. This was either a 6 or 8 millimeter Allen wrench. Once it's free, quickly remove it out of the way so the oil can drain into the pan. When the fluid is finished draining, reinstall the overflow tube. Be extra careful not to over tighten it. Just snug it up a tiny bit. Then reinstall the drain plug using a new crush washer, but only tighten the drain plug a little past finger tight so you don't crush the new sealing washer. Remove the fill plug from the left side of the transaxle. We already loosened this one. Next, install the fill tool adapter. Connect the fill tool hose to the adapter using the quick coupler. I pre-filled the fill tool with four quarts of WS ATF and pressurized the tank with the hand pump. Open the valve to force the oil into the transaxle. When the level in the tank is about one inch from the bottom, close off the valve. Start the engine and move the shift selector through the gears, returning it to park. Connect the scan tool and navigate to the transmission data to locate the automatic transmission fluid ATF temperature PID. The temperature needs to be between 104 degrees Fahrenheit and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the plug. If no fluid comes out, fluid needs to be added. If fluid flows out like this one in the video, there's too much fluid in the transaxle. Let this drain until the fluid just dribbles out and stops flowing. Install and tighten the drain plug. Wipe up any oil from the bottom of the pan. Release the pressure from the fill tank and disconnect the quick coupler. Remove the fill adapter. Install a new sealing washer on the fill plug and install and tighten the fill plug.